Good evening. This is my uh, last journal. Yay! Week 7. Uh, chapters 13 and 14. Um, during my readings, what I found most interesting in chapter 13 was... Um, it kind of related to our question. Well, no, it didn't relate to the question. I'm sorry. But this is some of the things that I highlighted. And I thought it was very interesting how they pointed out for legal purposes um, the company should maintain two um, two separate files on each employee, um, which is good, definitely. Um, it may advise that the first set should be on the, indiv it's the individual's personnel file. And then um, the second should contain nothing but documents that have to do with staffing um, decisions, whether it was a promotion or a demotion, um, a merit increase, things of that nature. And they really pointed out the different um, types of documents that should be in each file and why. And you should keep the file at least a year. You should keep the documents on file for at least a year. Um, I can say honestly, at my current place of employment, they have um, an employee file that consists of um, the staffing documents. But as far as a personnel file, I have my own. I imagine that they mix both of them up, but we're kind of so unorthodox on how we do things. And because we don't have an HR director in place, they're kind of able to do a free-for-all and just do whatever. That's just my take on it, my perception. But anyway, I thought it was very good information for it to point out um, the different types of documents that should be in each file and how their their legal documents and can be upheld in a court of law. That's my take on chapter 13. Um, chapter 14 talked about <laughs> exit interviews and employee surveys, which I found to be interesting that out of all of my out of my 17 years my 17 year career, the current employer that I'm at is the first one to not give an employee survey on, as well as um, not have really performance reviews <laughs> until this past year. And I've been there almost three years. Um, I chuckle because I just didn't know that legally they could get away with, you know, not giving out merit increases. Um, they could have, they could not have a performance review to monitor your performance to determine whether you should be demoted, fired, or promoted. It's just based on if they like you or not. Go figure. But again, at this point, um, as it relates to the chapter, um, it outlined and pointed out um, some good samples on an exit interview. They showed how structured it um, should be so they can really obtain some information. Um, and based on whether you were voluntary, voluntarily leaving or not, they might be able to counter offer, you know, once they found out, you know, some things as to why you were leaving. Um, also an employee survey, I think it's very vital for you to, you know, submit those kinds of surveys to your employees to find out where they're at, what they're thinking about the company, you know, what things can be done to improve employee satisfaction because we are, you know, we're the customer to the employer. So, and I think how we feel counts, or at least it should count. So, um, other than that, that's uh, my take on both chapters 13 and 14. It's uh, been a, a very interesting semester. And um, other than that, happy holidays. It's over. Bye.